Hey everybody, it's Jen. Welcome to week nine. Can't believe we're already here. And it is Tuesday of week nine, and I wanted to catch you up on everything that I posted for this week and next week because we've reached a point where everything that's due for the rest of the term is now available on Moodle. So that's exciting. Uh, so let's just get to it. Um, I'm going to go down to the bottom of our Moodle page. Okay, so I'm all the way down at the bottom. Yes, there's six of me staring at you, which is a little creepy. Uh, just means I had a bunch of uh, posts that went up on the comparison forum, so you should be able to see <coughs> uh, new things there. So, the assignments for this week, the first thing you need to do is read through these directions, the summary and response directions, and that should bring you to another way. Okay, uh, this gives you all the steps to watch, but basically you're going to be reading about what the TED conference and TED talks are, browsing around to get an idea of what TED talks do, and even if you've heard one before, please make sure you read this background information. Then uh, I want you to pick one video from the TED website. It needs to be over eight minutes long, so try to stay with TED conference videos and not TEDx videos. Um, the difference between those is there are official TED conferences where people are invited to give talks that are often uh, longer, more detailed, more researched, and then there are TEDx conferences that can kind of pop up in different places, and they may have shorter talks. So anyway, over eight minutes, eight or nine minutes, most of the talks you're going to find on that website will be 15 or 20 minutes long. If you can't narrow it down, I gave you a list of some of their most popular ones. And then this one, Designing Books is No Laughing Matter, is the one I will use as the sample, and you are welcome to do that one too. So, uh, your first assignment is to post to the Summary Response Forum. So remember, not everybody will see all of the videos. Just want you to post a link to the talk that you decided to watch and write about. Then give us like a two or three sentence summary of what's happening in that video. And remember, summary doesn't have your opinion, so don't say in this awesome video. Just say, in this video, Chip Kid talks about, and then give us the... Uh, details on that. And then also give us, you know, your classmates and me, just a couple of sentences about why this is interesting to you. Totally okay if you pick the same video as somebody else. After you've done all of that, so you've posted to the forum, and please note I changed this deadline. It was Wednesday, but I didn't get this video up to you on time, so it is now Sunday of next week. So before Sunday you're going to post the video, your summary, why you're interested in it. Then you are going to read this response writing chapter. Click on that, it should download. Um, you can print it out or read it online. And then go back to the forum, find one of your classmates, and reply to their post. Um, to do that, you may need to watch their video or at least go and watch part of their video and then reply and say, you know, oh, I found that interesting too, or at this point you might even switch videos because somebody else may have a really cool video on your hobby that you didn't notice. That's totally fine. As long as I see, to get graded for this assignment, you have to post once and you have to reply at least once. And I'm looking for that reply to come in. Um, if you, you have to post by Sunday, um, the reply needs to come in by Wednesday of that next week. Also during this week, after you've gotten feedback from me and your peers back on the comparison paper, I want to see you turn your comparison paper in to me right there. Then, for the last week of class, week 10, you can post your summary and response assignment. And again, all the directions for that are up here. But you're going to be writing one summary paragraph and one response paragraph um, based on the TED Talk that you chose. So you can post your rough draft here for extra credit if you'd like, and you can give feedback to other people for extra credit too. Then you can turn in your summary and response. That's just due before March 15th, which is the Sunday before finals week. So that takes us through all of our writing assignments for the rest of the term, except for the final. Now, here's where you find everything about the final exam. So in your syllabus and in the class introduction, I told you there would be an on-campus, in-person final exam. 
and that is one of two options that you have for the final. So you can either come to campus, take the exam in the testing center in person, and if you do that, uh, as long as you show up during the testing center's hours, there's no time limit. Um, the question will be on the computer. You can use scratch paper, outline, draw, doodle, whatever, and then just type in your final draft. Um, but no time limit, so if you show up at 8.30 in the morning, you can still be working on it at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, that's fine. I don't expect it will take that long, but if you have test anxiety, please consider this option because having that extra time may really help you, you know, feel more relaxed about processing, thinking about writing, all that. Uh, you also have the option to take the final online, and if you do that, it's timed. You'll have 100 minutes, and I will make that exam available starting Monday of finals week. So if you take it online, once you open the final, then you'll have 100 minutes to finish it. And there's no exception to that. So you can't say, oh, I took it for 40 minutes and then my computer died or my internet ran out or my kid kicked over my computer or whatever. Uh, it's a one chance thing. So if you have an iffy, iffy internet connection, a computer that might break, if you are trying to take the test in the room with, you know, eight other people uh, distracting you, then please consider either coming to campus and taking the exam on one of the campus computers or just going to the testing center where you're guaranteed to be able to take the test in the time allowed. Um, if you want to take the test on campus, it will open the Saturday before finals week. So you can go in on Saturday the 14th to take the test or you can go in Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday of finals week to take that exam. When you click on this sheet, it gives you all of that information and more. Look, there's even a drawing. And hours for the testing center, um, all the policies, what I'll be grading it on, all that. The only thing that's not posted on Moodle right now is during week 10, I will post a sample final exam question so you can see more what it's like. But I've already told you up here, it's going to be very similar to the response question that you're going to see for your um, TED Talk. So being able to look at a reading and respond to it thoughtfully with personal experience. Okay, so that is everything that is required for the rest of the term. Um, you do still have the option to turn in revisions of your first paper, the summary, or the narrative. And uh, there will be a drop box that opens up. It actually should be showing up right now in, fi in the finals week block, which is just down a little bit, um, like down here. Uh, so if you want to revise something, you can just submit it there, and I'll be grading those during finals week. If you need me in the next few days, I'm going to be out of town. I'm going to a funeral in uh, Kansas, but um, I will be back Sunday. So between, say, tomorrow afternoon, which is Wednesday, and Sunday, I'm going to be pretty slow to reply, but then I will be around all of next week, and I will, in fact, have office hours scheduled um, a couple of days next week so you can check in with me online or in person. Good luck, let me know if you have questions, and happy week nine!